Hi, I'm here with John Barañas at the stage where he's having a show. Welcome to Arte Palabra. Like our Jack, you like my shoes? They're so cool. This is Arte Palabra. What? No. <laughs> Um, in every one of these drawings, what you're actually looking at is one continuous line. Um, wherever I start the pencil line, I will end the pencil line, you know, the, the line. So you are looking at a closed loop, which allows me to then pick the sections and give them their color and stuff. Um, the actual drawing of them, of uh, the sketching of it, will be just a few seconds, the actual sketching. Uh, the coloring, that's a little different. Sometimes I see the colors that I want to use instantly. Sometimes it takes me months to decide what colors I use. I have drawings that I started when I started drawing, uh, started coloring them, uh, and I haven't finished them. And there's some that I will draw and finish within one day. So it's a little weird how the beginning and the end, how it actually comes together. Okay, so that's... That's one whole line? It's That's one continuous line. I never pick up the pencil uh, off of the paper, and when I do pick up the pencil, I pick it up at the point where I started the drawing. So if I started at the bottom right corner, I will have to end it at the bottom right corner. It is one continuous line, yes. Absolutely. Very cool, very cool. These that you're looking at right here are pencil on paper. They're oil pencils. Um, over at the end, you'll see uh, I do work with acrylic canvas, uh, oil canvas. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, spread out, but I mainly started with uh, paper and uh, oil pencils. How did you make the transition into canvas? And um, um, I, I know that eventually I I am going to stick to canvas and oils. I'm, I'm going to work on as many mediums as I possibly can, but I've been slowly working up to uh, canvas and oil canvas and acrylic. This one in particular is acrylic. Uh, three weeks, a little over three weeks to finish this one. And I just feel it's kind of like the natural progression of my art uh, that I would end up going to canvases. This one's impressive because it's the first time that I worked on something that large. Yep. Thank you. Know the Black Lady of Latin America? Who? The Brad Pitt of Latin America. America. The God that came <laughs> down and he said, but he's upon a us. Only when you say William Levy, and then I just have to fix my hair, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's very weird. <laughs> yeah. So did you draw this freehand? What you're looking at is a, a sketch with a pencil. The color comes on with um, oil pastel uh, pencils. And then what gives it the, such a tight look is because you're looking at two to three coats of the pencil. And then at the end, you're looking at the varnish of it. I think once once I've given it the two or three coats, and I finish it off with the varnish, it gives it such a such a neat closed. You can't see the paper behind it, and I think that's why they kind of. Um, I've actually been asked at times, are they f are they copies? And um, I guess it's a bit of a compliment because uh, it's just how tight the color actually is on the piece. Yes, I see. It's beautiful. How did you get started with painting? Um, I got started about uh, four years ago. I've been a teacher for five years. And um, as a survival technique, I started doing these uh, drawings. And what is this style called? Um, it's abstract art. Um, as you can see, most of them are, are abstract shapes. Um, I use the negative space. I leave the white space in the background, you know, to help uh, obviously accentuate the colors. So abstract art mainly, yeah. Did you grow up with a lot of art in your life? Was there a lot of art influences? There was. Um, my parents always had art up in the wall. Uh, my mom had this one specific wall that I'll always remember. Uh, she used to put all different types of art on it. It was almost like a collage of the world art, uh, giving me a little bit of influence of everything. And um, I didn't quite know how much it had actually influenced me until I actually started doing the drawings. If you look on this one, this one's um, interesting because this one has 
um, metallic uh, pencils. There's very few pencils that are offered uh, that have this kind of um, stroke that it leaves behind. And I'm not sure how well it comes out in the camera, but there is a stroke uh, that is left behind because it's metallic color. So I, I really like this one because of that. Um, at first, it, it was a little hard working with the pencils with the metallic, but uh, I've gotten used to them and I really like them. I really like using them now. So in general, how long does it take you to do one? Uh, the cool thing about these drawings are that if I don't use a very quick hand motion, uh, the hand will tremble and you won't see such a, a flowing lines as you see in them. So the actual sketch will take me seconds, just a couple of seconds. The coloring of them, um, it can take me anywhere from a to three, four days, depending on the complexity and obviously the size of them. Do any of them mean something special to you more than the others? I mean, they're all your babies, but... Yeah. Um, I think when uh, other people might not think they're the best ones, I sometimes think they're some of my best work. There's sometimes where I will make one of them for someone in specific. Uh, I've made, uh, you know, drawings for family members, uh, for close friends. And um, so there are times where, you know, I, I get a certain affinity towards some of them because of the fact that I'm doing it for someone I care about. And um, sometimes it's just the shape itself. I, I think what these drawings have is that you either associate with the color or the shape or you don't. I think uh, I, there are a few that I, I consider them my babies. Do you want to tell me which ones those are? Uh, from the ones that are here that I, I genuinely feel close to is this heart over here. Um, uh, I've been sketching the heart since I started doing these drawings, but this was my first attempt at, um, at a heart at that size. Um, uh, I don't know if to tell you that there's something behind it. I think that uh, with this one, what happened to me was that as I got closer to finishing it and after I finished it that I saw the finished product um uh I, it almost got the meaning after the fact after it was done I, it didn't start off with as much meaning for me as it had when I was done and I stepped back and got to look at it and um I I I do love this one a lot I do is this like an outlet for you emotionally um, it really has become, uh, my life in the last few years have been a little bit uh, on the turmoil side. Uh, my mom has been um, ill. Uh, there's a lot of aspects of my life that have been crazy. And this art is the one part of my life where um, I can settle down those thoughts. Do you think that if I, um, if I came and asked you to like, you know, that, that sounds like now, now it's getting weird, like draw me, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your art with us, and maybe one day you could maybe just you know draw me in Sounds some nice colors. Sounds like a great idea, and I would love to. So if you had to draw me, what colors exactly would you put me in? Uh, white and black. Why black and white? Is there a, is there a reason? No. Okay. <laughs> you. You have to answer. I have to no. <laughs>